are back in the car on a Monday morning, headed to boot camp. It was a really busy weekend. I actually had my meetup with all my subscribers here in Tucson this weekend. It was amazing. We had such a fantastic time. I made a big post in my Facebook group about it. So definitely, if you're not in my Facebook group, join us. That's typically where you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. But it was a busy, busy, kind of hectic weekend. And then last night, I actually went to dinner with my boot camp group for one of the girls' birthday. So it's been a whirlwind, so I'm tired. This is the first day in a long time that I haven't wanted to get up at 4 a.m. to go to boot camp. But here I am. Here I am in the car going to boot camp. I'm going to make sure that I'm in bed early tonight to get a little bit caught up on sleep. I've been going to bed pretty late, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, that's late for me. Normally I'm in bed by eight. So I'm going to get some, I'm going to get caught up on sleep tonight. For sure, that is my plan. I also have a very busy day today. I have coaching calls. I'm going to lunch with a friend. I'm gonna take you guys with me throughout the whole day today. I need to make a run to the post office, the UPS store, maybe the women's shelter to drop off some clothing. I'm going to do a quick kind of go through of my closet. I have about a half a bag of clothes between Troy and I to donate, so I wanna do that today. I have laundry to do. It's gonna be a busy day, but we've got some really good food today, a yummy dinner recipe, so I'm excited to take you guys with me. I did make my protein coffee this morning. I drank about half of it. I'll finish that when I get home and then we will have some breakfast. So off to boot camp I go. I'm hoping I can make it through this workout. I really have been trying to push myself at boot camp. I'm just a little extra tired today. But my thought is if I'm getting up at 4 a.m., I'm going to kill it at boot camp. So let's do it. I am home from boot camp. I just finished my protein coffee and I am so hungry. So I'm going to make a spin on avocado toast. So I'm going to use the Western bagel. This is the alternative bagel in plain. I really like these. They have fiber, they have protein. It's 120 calories. It has seven grams of protein and 10 grams of fiber. It's my last one of the plain. I bought a whole slew of the alternative bagels. If you order from Western Bagel, make sure you get the alternative. Those are going to be the lower calorie, lower point option. So I'm going to get the, I'm going to have the last one of these and go get another bag from the garage fridge and put it in my bread box. And then I'm going to put some avocado on there, some everything but the bagel seasoning, one egg. I'm just going to cook that in my little microwave egg cooker. And then I have some fruit. I have a mix of apples, blueberries, strawberries, and raspberries. So I'm going to weigh out about 100 grams of the fruit and that's going to be breakfast. So here is my breakfast. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. I have 100 grams of the berry mixture, one of those Western bagels, one egg, and 30 grams of avocado. This looks incredible. So this is going to be my protein-packed, fiber-filled, healthy carb breakfast. I was just cleaning up and organizing my office before I head into my closet to get together those clothes to take to the women's shelter. I'm heading to lunch with my girlfriend here shortly and my new heater that I just got for my office came in. You guys, I'm really excited about this. I wanted a heater that was not only effective, but it had to be completely silent because I film in here, I do coaching calls in here, so I can't have the background noise of a heater. And I also wanted one that was safe for my dogs. You know that they spend a lot of time in my office. So I wanted to make sure that I had a very, a silent, safe heater that was small and portable and compact. I don't have a lot of space in my office, so I wanted to make sure that whatever I got was something that wouldn't take up a lot of space for storage and for function. And of course, I can easily tote it around my house wherever I may need some extra heat. I have the Suncoast heater, and wait until you guys see this. This is completely innovative, something new to the market, something that is not only aesthetically beautiful, but it's extremely functional, zero noise and zero light. It has extremely fast heating speed. In fact, it only takes three seconds to reach its specified temperature. There's P1, P2, and P3, 750 watts, P2 is 1050 watts, and P3 is 1500 watts. So depending on the speed and the amount of heat that you want, you'll adjust it either with the remote, the app, or directly on the fan. Far infrared heating on a large area. There's no light, no wind, and no sound. For me, I like having it in my office because again, there's no sound and there's no light to interfere with filming and coaching calls. I also love that there's no fan, so it doesn't blow dust around, it doesn't blow your hair, it keeps your skin hydrated and comfortable like 
unlike a lot of heaters that will dry out your skin. And our skin already dries out a lot in the winter months. There's an app and voice control and it's actually, compa and Suncoast is compatible with your Alexa. The front net of the heater and the back cloth are made of aramid fiber used in aviation, which can prevent scolding and better protect protection for elderly children and your pet. I love that it has a really nice quality leather carry handle. It only weighs seven pounds, so it's extremely easy to move around your house. And But honestly, my favorite features about it are the fact that it can be controlled by remote or app. It also has three different heat settings no noise, no light, and no wind. That is something that I've never seen in a heater before. So as soon as I saw the Suncoast, I knew that that was going to be the perfect one for my office. Now, you know, I live in a warm climate, but we get chilly here in the winter, and my office is honestly the coolest part, the coolest room in the house. So that is where I plan on keeping my Suncoast heater. You can pick this up right off of Amazon. I'll link it down below with the link, any discount codes, and any discount information. It'll all be linked down below for you. But I highly, highly recommend the Suncoast heater. It is going to keep me nice and toasty warm this winter. Palmer, do you want a special bomb? Do you? Do you? Lola, you want a special bomb? Special bomb? Okay, come on. I know, let's go. Mommy's going to stop working for a minute and get you a special bomb. Let's go, go, go. Go, 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 go. So right now we have these smart bones. We kind of go back and forth between these ones and the ones wrapped in chicken. I buy them on Amazon, so I'll link them for you. There you go, little turd, there you go. So I've been getting a lot of questions on my cold brew. I share it a lot in my what I eat in a days, but I haven't showed you recently how I make it. I'm getting questions on how much grinds do you use? What cold brew do you use? So I actually just finished up my cold brew, so I'm going to make a fresh batch. So I'm taking advantage of that to show you guys how I make my cold brew. So I actually use the large 64 ounce cold brew off of Amazon. It's a little pitcher. It has a lid. It comes with the funnel for the cold brew. I'll link it down below for you. I used a metal funnel. I bought these off of Timu. You can use any funnel. This is going to just help you control the grinds as it goes into the filter. And then for cold brew, I only use Drag Up. I talk about this a lot. I tried so many different cold brews. Grinds, the ones you buy in the store, I hated all of them until I discovered Drag Up. And I love, love, love it. I just finished my third or fourth bag. So this is a brand new bag and this is the cookies and cream. All of their flavors are so good. The coffee isn't bitter at all. And then the flavor just is on the light end. So you can put your favorite creamer in there, but you can drink it black as well because you do get a little bit of that flavor. And it's just this natural, subtle flavor. It's so good. So I've never tried the cookies and cream. I am so, so excited. So let me bring you down and I'll show you exactly how I make my cold brew. This smells incredible, by the way. I smell cookies, I smell cream. So you go ahead, go ahead and put the funnel in the cold brew pitcher and then I add my metal funnel as well. Now I do one cup of grinds for the 64 ounce pitcher. So I go ahead and just measure out my cup and then I just dump it slowly into the funnel and then it goes into that mesh funnel that's part of the cold brew pitcher. I just find that this keeps it a little cleaner. I always am spilling grinds and I don't want to waste any cold brew. So using this funnel just really helps not waste any of the grinds. I will also link this little three pack of funnels from Timu. So now we've got the grinds in the cold brew jar. So then I just fill it completely full with water. I fill it all the way full. And then pop on your lid and then close it. Here's what it looks like and you're actually going to set it out on the counter for 24 hours. Do not put it in the fridge. Once the 24 hours has passed, then I empty the grinds into the garbage and then put it into the refrigerator. When I go to drink it, I'll fill my glass a little over half full with cold brew. And then like I said, you can add your favorite creamer. Right now I'm using the zero sugar pe peppermint mocha. I love this. You guys know that I always stock up on this during the holidays. Top it with some ice. It's so good, it's so smooth, and it has this rich coffee flavor. And then you get the subtle notes of whatever flavor cold brew you use. This combination, amazing. I will make sure that I link Drag Up and my cold brew pitcher as well as the little 
funnel set from Timu down below for you. So I'm going to have a yogurt bowl as a quick snack. I have a couple hours before I'm meeting my friend Melissa for lunch. So I made a pretty simple bowl. I have the Chobani, let me flip it. There we go, zero sugar in blueberry. And I added that to the bottom. Again, I have that fruit. This was left over from my meetup. So I did 100 grams of fruit. I did 10 grams of granola. This is the, oh, this is the apple one from Kroger, from Fry's, their seasonal apple. And then I bought this blueberry white balsamic vinegar at in Tubac during my meetup. And the girl said that any of the fruity vinegars are really good drizzled on a yogurt bowl. And she is right. It is so good. It adds a tang and a little bit of sweetness. So I have 10 grams, you can see it drizzled right on top. So that's going to be my morning snack. All right, I'm in the car. It is just before 12. I'm running a few errands before I meet my friend Melissa for lunch. All righty, first stop is the post office. I have to mail a bill and a package. Next stop, the donation to Daisy. Such a great cause. If you can find a women's shelter in your area to donate at least clothing to, it's just a better option than Goodwill. We take our household stuff to Goodwill, but this is perfect because when battered women have the option to get affordable clothing and sometimes even free clothing. I actually donated a pair of Michael Kors boots. I've had them for so many years. My mom actually bought them for me when I lived in Washington and they're kind of like a rain style boot and we don't really get rain here. I mean, they were a $200 boot. So I donated those. I, a lot of the clothes that I get sent in PR, if I don't like them, I donate them. I also like to go through my closet about every six months and clean it out. If I haven't worn it in that season. So what I did is went through and got rid of all the summer clothes that I didn't wear. The entire summer because clearly they're not things that I reach for and then after fall and winter I do the same thing and then I also tell myself if I'm going to get a new clothing item then something has to go so one in and one out all right last stop before lunch is the UPS store I just have a quick little Amazon return so change of plans, the bistro that we were going to go to is no longer, it's actually now a pizza place. So I've been here a couple times with my in-laws. It's actually in a Best Western hotel. It's the 19th Hole Bar and Grill and it's super delicious. So I'm gonna do the Santa Rita chicken without the chipotle mayo because I have a feeling it's gonna be spicy, but it sounds amazing and I think it comes with fries. So I'll probably bring leftovers home to Troy. I think you should, I think you should dance with your neighbor. Yeah. I am done with a lunch. We were there for two hours. I showed you what I got. So I got this chicken sandwich and fries. I ended up eating half of the chicken sandwich and maybe five or six French fries, which was so good, but it was so filling because it was a big breast of chicken. It was cooked really, really well. Good seasoning, nice and juicy. Lettuce, tomato, onions, and pepper jack cheese on it. And then this really good mayo. It was just really, really filling. So I actually, have the other half of my sandwich and my fries for Troy and that way he can eat that when I get home. That's one of my tips when eating out is cut your meal in half. Cut your sandwich in half, cut your burger in half, put half of your fries away, ask for a to-go box right out of the gate, put it in the to-go box because it's unlikely that you're going to reach into the to-go box for food. Just eat what's on your plate and then once you've finished the half of your meal, you feel like you've had the whole meal, if that makes sense. So that's exactly what I did. So it's already 3.30 p.m. So I'm not going to have an afternoon snack since I'll be eating dinner here in the next couple of hours. So I'm gonna head home. I have a little bit of computer work to do. I definitely need to refill my water and I'll be back for dinner. So for dinner tonight, I'm going to make a pizza. I actually got these flat out crusts from Nutrition and I just threw them in the freezer. I do that a lot so that I can just take out one as I need it. The entire pizza crust is only 130 calories and there's five grams of protein and you get five crusts. So these are really, really good size. They actually remind me of a flatbread. I'll link Nutrition down below with 10% off. That's where I bought it. You guys already know that's where I buy my fiber gourmet. I love Nutrition. I'm going to use some of the Trader Joe's white shredded mozzarella. I have some turkey pepperoni and some pizza sauce. I have my oven warming up to 375 and I have to preheat my crust, it says here on the back. It says preheat your crust 
for two minutes, top it, and then bake it again for four minutes. So I'm actually really excited about this new flat out pizza crust. All right, pizza is done, and that was literally the easiest dinner I've made in a long time. I add a little bit of Italian seasoning on top. I did a serving of the pizza sauce, two servings of cheese, one serving of pepperoni, and that Italian seasoning on that flat out crust. I am so excited to have these. You could do breakfast pizzas. The possibilities really are endless. And for 130 calories, you can't beat it. So I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So it is the end of the night and I'm going to actually have a protein bar for dessert. This will be my second protein supplement today. These are one of my favorites. I shared these in my recent favorites video. These are from the brand Fulfill. This is the chocolate peanut caramel. 150 calories, 15 grams of protein. Amazing, amazing, amazing macros. And they are sweet. So they give you kind of a candy bar vibe. I've been buying these off of Amazon. It's way cheaper than buying them singly in store. So I just ordered two cases, one of which was this peanut caramel flavor. It gives me all the Snickers feels. Really, really good. So that's going to be my dessert. for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all the good food that I ate. You can eat out on a regular basis and still lose weight. That is one of my favorite things about macros and calories and just making it a really sustainable lifestyle, not a diet. I had a fantastic lunch date. And don't forget, all, tonight's dinner recipe is on my website. I'll put my website at the top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to everything I shared with you today and my other favorite things. And like I mentioned, come join our Facebook group. That's how you can keep up with me a little bit more day to day. Thank you so much for watching friends and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.